Hello, everyone. Welcome back to It's a Clink Thang. You wouldn't understand. This is Ace Attorney Apologist. Okay, I... Maybe it's just because we haven't had a chance to talk to this dude ever, but I still need to figure out what the hell's making this dude tick here because we've got problems. <laughs> He's awful cute. I like that he looks like a little fox spirit. He is really cute. D did I say impasta? I, I meant poster. Like poster girl, I. Right. So he made a slip up in the last one, a big one. Which leads me to believe that something dubious is going on between him and card captor Sakura over there. If you're going to drop part of that, why not drop poster and just call her girl? You're not wrong. Cause she's so much more than that, G. She's like, she's like an angel. A fallen angel. So, what can I do you for? Oh, no thanks, I'm not interested <laughs> in children. You don't look so chipper today, Waki. Worried about your uh, heart condition, maybe? That's right, we found out about that way early. So the dude apparently still has a bullet inside of him because the surgeon couldn't get it out? Or maybe just, I don't know if he fucked up or what. Oh, oh hello. Nice to see you again in my memory. I'll take that all day. Oh yeah, here, okay, I don't know if I should be reading this. Basically they're just going through and saying that, uh, from the, the trial we had before, the bullet really needs to be attended to. Because it's very close to his heart, even now. So maybe this dude should chill out a little bit and, like, relax. Maybe he should actually go to the hospital. <laughs> man, I ain't trying to hear that. A man fights to protect what's valuable to him, you know what I'm saying? I miss my fallen angel. Hey, you go get a leader for me. You're my lawyer, aren't you? Lawyer, not gopher. Oh, but still. Alright, fine. So let's go ahead. Can we talk to you finally? Because we haven't really had a chance. Your fiancé, tell me about that. So I hear you're to be married next month? Oh, same though. Yo, straight up! We poured the nuptial 40 out on the stoop! Wow, very romantic. Maybe John and I should do that. Alita. Oh, Snapple Cakes! She's so fine. I think he's smitten with her in his own weird way. I was wondering, how did you two meet? I asked Tiala, but she was very vague. Huh? Well, man, if she wouldn't tell you, I'd best hold my tongue, you feel me? What? Man, what's past is past, she knows that. Was it not a good meeting, perhaps? When I'm with Alita, I feel like there's things worth protecting out there, you feel me? If that's true, then that's really cute. And my Alita, she's down with that all the way. Hmm, so both of them are mum about their past. Alright, tell me about the clinic, please. Do you think you could tell us what happened with you and Palmaractus? Uh, there's something you should know. We Kitakis are having what you might call a feud with the Rivalis family. So, about six months back, I go into Rivalis turf packing a knife, right? And? You were shot? Coldest thing I ever seen. One shot to the heart, but my homies weren't too late. It's a miracle that I lived. Yeah, it's already considered one of the seven wonders of the Kentucky family, you know that? So, you were taken to Maractus Clinic then. You should have seen their faces when they wheeled me in. You can't just let the boss's son die, you know? I'd hate to have been in that doctor's shoes. Mr. Kataki's scary enough when he's not angry. But the bullet that hit you... It was never removed? And it's still threatening his life. That doctor, he did it on purpose! The Rival has paid him off, I'm sure of it. I need to hear more about the night of the murder. That much is clear. There's a lot we need to find out about. Okay, Waki's future, tell me about this. Life in the family is a G-thang, it's about being a man. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm not up on my G-things. I'm not even sure what a G-thing is. Don't worry about it, I'll explain it when you're older. But my oh me, he's gone soft. He says the old rival gang days are over, he just wants to make money. Probably, like I said, to buy himself out of the Yakuza if I had to guess. Isn't that a good thing? Man, there ain't no soul in making money. Better to live fast and die young. Faux shizzle. Well, then you're gonna leave Alita by herself if you do that. Is that what you want? Ugh. Wait till I run the yard. Then everyone will know what time it is. That's right, OG time. The time represent. Oh. Paolo, why does he keep talking about old guys? I don't think that's what OG means, Trucy. It means original gangster. Um... What haven't we... 
that seems like it- Oh, you know what? He was talking about the, the bullet and the- hmm. Is there anything we can give him to make him talk about the story? Oh, I guess we could give him this. Well, I didn't do present, though, because I'm an idiot. Oh, wait! Uh, first things first! Did I do this before? I don't remember. Have you seen this underwear? <laughs> Look at this underwear! This is gonna be the new thing for this game, you guys. Yeah, whatever. He seems preoccupied. I'm not sure he even looked at my evidence. Alita, man. Alita! What? Does she have the same ones? <laughs> don't worry about it. I won't tell nobody. Let's give him this. About these weapons, the pistol and the knife. They belong to the family. I snuck them out that night. Oh, so you did have the pistol on you? So the killer, Mr. Stickler, says he saw that night was... I guess it was me. I was there, after all. Oh, we're finished. Um, yo, Walkie, do you think you could tell us exactly what happened that night? Heh, <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? I like your style, Shorty. Maybe I should have shown him the knife first. Oh, well, here, let's, let's give him that as well, because we know that he actually did have this on him. Oh, it's the, is it the same? Oh! Okay, I guess I could have done either. That's weird. Okay. Alright, well, that's the same, so maybe he's just got a thing now that we can talk about. Let's take a look. Aha! Okay. I keep forgetting that you really have to present things to people. Uh, actually, there's a question I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. That is, uh, did you do it? Did you shoot him? I don't know. Eh? The day at checkup when I found out about the bullet by my heart, I borrowed a gun from the family stash. Feed I give that doctor a taste of his own bad medicine. Uh-oh, I don't like where this is going. But you were carrying a knife, weren't you? Oh, that? Yeah. Well, never can be too careful, I say. So I'm on my way to the clinic, right? When I run into him in the park, and he's dragging this noodle stand behind him. That's the part we really haven't figured out at all. Why the hell did he have the noodle stand with him? Wait, you didn't put him up to that? Like, you know, in the movies? If you value your life, you'll bring the stand. Shorty, you're more whack than I am, and that's saying something. But I was serious. Oh, the thing is, I don't remember what happened next all too well. You don't remember? But the way I see it, if there wasn't anyone else there that night, then I guess it probably was me who did him in, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't seem great, though. That still doesn't seem real enough to be true. What the hell? Alright, is that all? Can we present him anything else? Um... What happens if we, like... The thing is, right? Is when I go to present, there's no, like... There's no profiles. At least, not that I recognize. If I go into the cart record and go into profiles, there's no way to present anything, right? It just shows you everything that there is. Can you not present profiles to people in this game, or am I just dumb? Because this is evidence, you see, on the left, but there's no profiles to switch to. It's just a bit weird. Do you know anything about this? No. Alright, uh... Because I was gonna, I, what I was gonna do is give him Alita's profile, but how about your mother's underwear? Would you like to see this? <laughs> oh, I was hoping. God damn it! Fine. What about this? No, no, no. He's not. He's not blowing. Okay, fine. So maybe we have to go somewhere else. But where? Um, I guess we'll just start looking around and see. Uh, where haven't we gone? We haven't been to the clinic. Let's go over there and see what's going on there. No? Oh, Phoenix isn't here. That's strange. Okay. I guess not. Let's look around. Doing the thing. Let's go to over here? Hi. Hello? Uh, There's nothing here either. Alright, fine. Oh! Okay, here we go. Look at that crowd over by the park! Probably people trying to get a glimpse of the crime scene. But, why are those girls screaming? I think I just heard one say, oh my god, it's him. What's happening over here? Oh, look who's here! That motorcycle, you know what it means. 
Wait, that motorcycle. Ah, if it isn't our forehead. Yo, what's up, beautiful? How are you? Oh, aren't you a sight for sore eyes today? Prosecutor Gavin. Some fans found me on my way out. Just my luck. Oh my god, oh my god, he's so cool! Does the screams. New album just came out, you know? Try waving to them, they love it. Oh, he's so cute! <laughs> They're so excited, it doesn't matter who waves to them, see? This is surreal. Um, so you were here investigating? Oh, this music, holy shit, this is a riff. And I was on my way home when my hog gave up to ghost. Your hog, your... Is your motorcycle dead? Oh no, it looks so nice though. My motorcycle won't start. Clogged exhaust pipe. Too bad. It looks like such a nice bike too. Hard to believe that it could break just from that. Ugh, it's my fault. I think I was using the wrong oil. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clogs exhaust and they won't run. Ah, machines. Tell me you share my angst on the forehead. Uh, I do, but it's not about the bike. I ride a bicycle, actually. Ah, uh, <laughs> in any event, I'm off to the shop to get her fixed. The detective in charge of the scene isn't fond of me. In any case, you mean Emma? I wonder why. The detective? You mean the one in the lab coat? Yeah. She's in a foul mood, too. Be gentle. Oh, baby, I will be. With you. Wait, what? Afiza Zen, baby? Oh my god, oh my god! There he goes! There he goes indeed. Bye! I guess he's- oh, he's gone now. And the forecast for the park today, gloomy skies. I get it, it was funny. Well, nothing to do but head on in. Let's hit the park, Apollo! Alright, first people said to look at this again because I think maybe there's like a different scene. Looks like that old lady's at it again. Look, I told you yesterday, the park's off limits. And I told you yesterday, this is how I go home! Okay, you want me to go around? How about giving me five bucks, like yesterday? Oh my god, I paid her to stop? Wow, are we sure that's not old bag, though? Like, are we absolutely sure? Thinking that it is. Alright, let's go. Right. Where is she? Is she here? Oh, there's no tarps down today. What happened there? Does something about the scene look different to you? The blue tarps are gone. Maybe that's it? Yeah, I think you're right. Look over there. The white frock detective from yesterday. She seems to be apologizing reverently to the trash can. She's under a lot of stress. The investigation's probably not going so well. Hey, you there. If you're going to talk about someone behind their back, do it more quietly, please. Oh, Em, I'm sorry. Oh, Detective Sky, hello. Yay, her music! You seem gloomy as ever. This is miserable, miserable. I just got a new kit and I can't get the stuff to work. And everyone's all smiles for that glimmerous fob. Oh, she must be talking about Clavier. Glamorous? Does she mean Prosecutor Gavin? More to the point, doesn't she mean glamorous? Ugh, when he walks, his shiny chains catch the sun and glimmer in my eyes. It's distracting. You eat those snacks, girl. I feel you. Speaking of distracting... Oh, I guess I just have to accept the fact that I lack talent. That's not true. It sounds like she's trying out some sort of new forensics technique. Well, let's help her. Well, wait a minute, first of all. Can I... Oh. How do I present the... Oh. Can I present to her a profile? I really want to. But it's not letting me. Fine. Uh, well, first let's talk to her. Oh. Detective Sky, you know Mr. Wright, correct? How do you know my daddy? I want details. Uh, uh, well, he helped me out a long time ago. You might say he saved me. Wasn't she saying something about getting involved in an incident? I can't stand it when things are vague, especially in a case. I went to study to become a forensic scientist in Europe. But you're a detective now? Well, I failed the test. Oh. But you know, rank and title don't matter. What matters is what's inside your heart. I've always thought that too. And my heart is full of science. That's why I bought this kit through mail order. Oh, look at that. And I'm going to test it here before the forensics team arrives. 
Are you sure that's okay? Oh. All right, well, talk to me about Gavin. How come you don't like him? I won't lie. I'm not fond of the men. Those glamorous types always rub me the wrong way. Glamorous? Right. A prosecutor should be cool of wit and furrowed of brow. Like Edgeworth, is that what you're saying? Less glimmerous and more simmerous, you know? No, actually I don't. Well, that and what happened seven years ago. Prosecutor Gavin was the one who stripped Mr. Wright of his attorney's badge. Wait, really? What, really? He was the one? You mean you didn't know? I thought you were one of his boys. Well, that is that a, is that a euphemism? I'm going to go ahead and say that it is. I'm neither a boy nor one of his, but let's see what she has to say. Uh, what exactly happened seven years ago? I never actually heard the details. Then investigate. It's better you learned it for yourself anyway. Oh. Poor Trucy. Alright, tell me about the new kit then. Do you mind me asking exactly what it is you've been doing? Squatting down on the ground like that? Oh. Dang, that, that blood though? Oh, you want to know, do you? Well, I splurged on a new toy. You splurged? You mean it wasn't police issue? No, she bought it herself. She, I think she's done that before. What is it? I see a roller and glue? This is a footprint analysis kit. Oh, this is how we're going to do the thing on the slipper then, for sure. Footprint? It was raining on the night of the murder, which means the footprints were left. Oh, does that have anything to do with those blue tarps? Right. The ground was muddy, so I had to protect it as it was that night. Ever wanted to know exactly where someone was standing? Like your panty-snatching student witness, for instance. Aha! So with that kit... Right. What? Wanna try this stuff out? Yeah. <laughs> Wanna buy some weed? Huh? Are you sure? I mean, we're sort of on opposing teams and all. Ah, pfft. You're friends. And, to tell the truth, I'm not so good at doing this. Guess I'm a little clumsy. I could use your help. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm good at stuff like this. I used to make magic bunnies out of paper mache. Footprint analysis, huh? Should I give it a go? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. Right, allow me to explain. <clears throat> One moment. She's reading the instructions for her kit. Oh no. Why does this not fill me with confidence? First, we have to pick the footprint, or in this case, shoe print, we want to analyze. Right. I've taken the liberty of marking all the shoe prints in the park. There's only one over there. What's that about? Well, which shoe print should we start with? Uh... Let's see. If we're going to verify the defendant's account, here's the place to start. Right, this one. Shoe prints, prepare to be examined. Ooh, this is so exciting! There it is. Whoa. Right, here goes. First, pour the plaster into the print until it's full. You try it. How am I supposed to do it? Just touch the screen where you want to pour the plaster. Oh. Oh shit, let me get my stylus. I wasn't prepared. I can do the, um... I can usually do the fingerprint thing okay without the stylus, but just in case. Oh, look at that! That doesn't look too hard. Oh, I thought it would pour out all at once. I guess not. <laughs> Anything to pad this, right guys? If you run out of plaster in your beaker before you're done, you have to start over. Oh, you have- okay. Oh, look! Okay, so you can't just waste it. You have to be careful. Here we go! Not bad. You're handier with that than you look. Uh, is that a euphemism? Never mind. What's that supposed to mean? Don't worry about it, Apollo. We'll figure it out later. On to the next step. Uh, dry the plaster until it turns white. Right. Oh, <laughs> this is a hair dryer. <laughs> How did you get that out here? I guess it came with it. Just touch to direct the dryer. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh my, this is so much busy work. Really, though? I wonder how many times we're going to have to do this. I get that th this is kind of fun, like in a detective way, but th doesn't this seem a little bit busy? Maybe it's just me. Looks like it's hard and nicely. Oh. <laughs> oh, why, thank you. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Trucy, look away, please. Oh, look at that. Oh, neat. Yes, that's a good one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, wait, what? The footprint? Oh. 
Next, the ink. There's ink too? Ready for the next step? Use the roller to ink just the shoe print part. Oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. Hold on to the roller tight now and roll it up into- oh My god. <laughs> this is euphemisms, the game. Keep going till you get enough ink on there for a good print. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I see. That's good enough. Right, now the moment you've been waiting for, let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. Smush. Blop. <laughs> there it is, a footprint. What's that? Let's see if we get a match. How would there be a match? Nobody has a footprint database, do they? Well, how could that even be possible? Well, who do we think it could be? We're thinking that's Walkie, don't we? That's what I'm thinking. It's either Walkie or Wesley. But Wesley wasn't over there, so let's go ahead and do this. Th that seems a bit weird. Why would they have this database again? Someone explain it to me. I'm not, I'm not a lawyer or a forensics person. I'm Judge Judy. It's different. Sorry, that was me taking a sip of my iced coffee. So the shoe prints belong to Walkie after all. He was in the park on the night of the crime. Wow, I can almost see the science at work. Don't you love it? Ah, oh, nothing feels better. Are you in a better mood now, darling? She's definitely way more into this than I am. Just let me know if you want to do some more. I'll be here, solving the case. With science! <laughs> see the power of the science! Well, that's certainly brightened her mood. Well, can we do... can we do more, then? Well, there was more there. Alright. Footprint analysis, here we go. Detective Sky, mind if we give it another go? Right on. Leave no print unanalyzed, I see. I want to find out what that other one is, too, but let's do them all, because we probably have to. Pick which one you want to analyze. I'll try to do this quickly, guys. Let's do these. Alright. This one has two parts. Okay, looking good. Next, to dry the plaster. <laughs> it's my industrial strength hair dryer, and I can't live without it! Okay, let's take out the mold. This is really neat. I don't know if this is actually what they would do. Someone that's into forensics, check in with us, please. Alright, ink it up. There we go. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a satisfying sound. It's good. Oh. Look at that. Why has everybody got something weird on the bottom of their shoe? Let's see if we get a match. It's probably Wesley's, I'm assuming. Let's try that. I uh, still don't understand why they would have all these footprints. Doesn't make any sense. CSI. There it is. So these shoe prints belong to Wesley Stickler. This confirms his testimony, the final version of it at least. So he was telling the truth. Now we know where the panty snatcher was standing. Let's do one more. Well, I really want to know about that red one. So let's, uh... Let's do that. Detective Sky, let's give it another shot. I believe you're beginning to appreciate the wonder that is forensic science. Maybe I just appreciate you. Pick which print. I want just this single one. What's going on with this? Who could it be? Uh-oh! Oh, I messed up! <laughs> I splooged it out a little, oh god. Sorry, uh... I didn't mean to fuck it up, I slipped. Alright. Oh good, it didn't- it didn't mind my mess up that much, it's fine. Game is very tolerant about me messing up. Alright. This one doesn't look like it has much to it. Here goes. Alright. Oh! <gasps> the slippers! That's a funny shoe print. It's the slippers, right? It has to be. Is that even a shoe? It is strange, so smooth. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you like it. Wait, oh, the slipper. Right, right, okay. 
Except for the part with the leaf. I can say without even looking that this print doesn't match any print on our list. Hmm, a mystery print. Interesting. Uh, what, what, that was it? Oh, what now? Oh, here it is, sorry. <laughs> Jesus, I was expecting more. This print is far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It is a shoe print of some kind, though, that's certain. Still, you have to wonder what it's doing here. It's right next to the Aldoon's noodle stand. It does make one wonder. Hey, you. Yes? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? You wouldn't happen to have something in mind? Something that might have left this mystery shoe print? Oh, let's present her the slippers. This mystery shoe print does remind me of something. Okay, here we go. I'm pretty sure I've seen something that would leave a print like that. You know, I think I have one culprit right here. Let's give those to her. Indeed. Don't yell at her. Jeez. Well, I think it's these slippers, actually. Slippers. What would slippers be doing out here? But look at the bottom, see? It's covered with paint, except for... See? Right here. Hey, that spot is shaped like a leaf. Ah, oh, here we go. But who was wearing them? That's the thing. What if a leaf was stuck to the bottom and came off when the slipper stepped in paint? Makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, something's written on them. The Maractus Clinic. Exactly, the victim's clinic. Wait, that means... That someone from the clinic was involved? You eat that stuff, come on, if that helps. Why is she just standing there eating? Uh, to tip the sky, I have a favor to ask. What? Can you get us access into the Maractus Clinic? The police won't let us in. They say the murder and the clinic are not connected. And it's off limits until we prove they are. Emma, can you do that? I should be able to do something for you, yes. Eh, really? Well, you did my work for me here with the shoe prints. Seems like I should return the favor. Oh, thanks, Emma. Thank you, Detective Sky. Here, show this to the police officer on duty. Oh, great. Oh, thank goodness. This will help. Right, Maractus Clinic, here comes justice. Uh, before we do that, though, one thing I want to look at real quick. Can we look at what the thing we just got? Allow clinic access into to this magician and attorney in Prosecutor Gavin's name. Oh, he's probably not gonna like that. Um, but whatever. Is there anything we can look at here? I don't know if there's anything important. Emma Sky. She put a little heart by her name. How cute! Isn't she a little old for cute? No! Apollo, shame on you! Cute is eternal. Cute is timeless. No matter how old a woman gets, she always carries a little innocent maiden inside her. <gasps> I really hope that's true, because I'm old as shit. Really now, I suppose. I've never heard it put quite that way before. When I sign my name, I always put it in a little diamond. True C, right. See? Cute, don't you think? It's a little confusing. Won't people think your middle name is a diamond? Hey, you could write your name like Apollo equals justice. I do like justice, but that's taking it a bit far. Oh, that was weird. Uh, is there anything else you want to show to her while we're here? Like, um, I don't know, underwear? Did I show her the underwear already, though? I don't remember. I may have done. Did I do this? Sorry, I don't think I can help you with that. Oh, I think you need more than just scientific help. <laughs> Big mood. Just ask scientifically. Oh, well, fine. Alright, so let's just go out and see what we can do. So let's go to the Maractus Clinic and see what we've got. Right. Uh, do we have to go... Right, here we have to go. Oh, hello? What's going on here? What's going on at New? Oh, it's this. You two again? When oh when will you learn? Look at me however you want. You're not getting in today. I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Look what we have. What's this? Detective Sky? Yesterday it was Prosecutor Gavin, today it's Detective Sky. Who are you two, really? Now he's suspicious again. Well, you got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have fun. Thanks, Mr. Officer. Let's hit it, Apollo. Let's go. Here's the, we've been waiting for this. Alright, what's gonna be in here? Ooh. Um, there's a lot of noodle bowls in here, and some shoes! <laughs> and a teddy bear. Aw, oh, look. 
What's with all these bowls in here? Huh. Kind of an at-home sort of place, isn't it? This place has connection to the murder in the park. I'm sure of it. The police guy out front wasn't so sure. Beyond it being where the victim lived. That's true, he did live here, didn't he? Looks like the police team's gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. Let's look. Fine, so... Hmm. Well, let's look at everything that's pretty standout-ish. First of all, these damn bowls. Why are there so many here in a clinic? It looks dirty. Look at all these bowls. They're from Eldoon's noodles. There's Mr. Salty. Then, I think we figured something out. I think we have. Mr. Eldoon must do takeout. What? <laughs> Not exactly what I was thinking. All the bowls have been washed... Oh, sorry, that's Trissy. All the bowls have been washed clean. I think we found our first clue, Trissy. I think so indeed. Oh, I was expecting it to actually come into the thing, but it didn't. What's this? The clinic reception desk. No one's here, of course. There's a small sign on the counter. Please pay your bill. Remember, we're the ones holding the scalpel. Oh, wow. Brutal, but effective. This little bear. Oh, it, oh sorry. It's the same. My bae. Alright, well, let's look at the shoes. There's a single pair of sandals here. Wait, but why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Or maybe it's a visitor that came to see Dr. Maractus? See, it seems normal a little bit, because at this point, where the sandals are, they would take their shoes off and put the slippers on and go through. But they usually put them in a very orderly fashion. Why are they just left here? You think they'd use his house entrance instead of the clinic entrance in that case? And if this patient or visitor isn't still here, why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take a closer look at these, just in case. Oh, we got the shoes, all right. Well, let's look at them now and see what, what they're all about. Check. Well, they're lovely. Don't they look like something maybe Miss Tialo would wear? Because I am not. don't think Emma would wear them. Anything important? No, they just look like shoes. Oh, wait, the print, though. There's a print in here. Man, these people got some dirty-ass feet. Hey, Apollo, you think this is... Huh, this could be a toe print. Maybe we can get a print off of this. Oh, sorry, that's Tracy. Let's try it out. All right, dust for prints. But it's just gonna be a toe print. What the hell are you gonna... Please! What the shit are you gonna do with it, though? I still don't understand this, this logic. All right, here we go. It's trouble time. There we go. Boy, it's difficult. Hey, it worked. That looks like a big toe, maybe? But wait, I mean, it's great that we got the print. But is there such a thing as a list? You said this before! Why do I have to do this? Oh, good point. If there is, Detective Sky didn't give it to us. Which means we can't match the print. Seems like a good time to ask the detective's advice. Yeah, good idea. Oh, maybe I should have... Oops. Maybe I should have... I'll bring that to Emma in a minute, because I think it said the same thing before and we never did. But she didn't actually bring it up, so... Oh, whoops, nope. I'm not done examining. I want to see everything. Uh, what else? Oh, what about this? Look! This door says doctor's office. Think this is the victim's private office? It's not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? <laughs> I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Like those little bike locks? Don't even bother putting them on when I'm around. Uh oh. That's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people about. What was that? <gasps> Apollo, that sound! It came from behind this door! Someone's in there! Let's check it out! Oh, sorry, I thought that was truce. Oh, what, what? Thought we were gonna have a minute! Jeez, we didn't even have one second! A break-in! They left through that window! Wait, Apollo! You're too late to catch them now. That must be her experience as a panty snatcher chaser talking. Well, we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. You're right. She's better at this than I am. Well, one thing's for certain. This clinic and our murder case are looking pretty related now. You're damn right. We're gonna have to look through this in the next one. That's right, whoever was here, you best be gone. Don't even try to jump scare me because I'm not having it. 
right. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I'll see you soon. Bye.